You can hear in his voice the moment he realizes that the ball has gotten through. Uh, the CEO of the Dodgers is Stan Caston. He said, we've lost an icon, Vin Scully, one of the greatest voices in all of sports, a giant of a man, not only as a broadcaster, but a humanitarian. He loved people, he loved life, he loved baseball and the Dodgers, and he loved his family. His voice will always be heard and etched in all of our minds forever. The man broadcast 67 years of Major League Baseball. It is possible that no one voice ever touched more people than his did in sports history. And Buster Olney is one of those. He grew up on a, on a dairy farm in Vermont as a Dodger fan. Buster, what do we say about Vin Scully on this morning? Greedy, that he was absolutely perfect for baseball with that amazing pacing that he had with his storytelling. A lot of broadcasters would joke that if Vince Scully needed a foul ball to finish his story, he would always get it. And that incredible deference that he had to players and to fans. In that moment when Kirk Gibson hits the game-winning home run in the World Series in 1988, uh, for him to lay out and let the crowd tell the story for 68 seconds. That's why people invited him into their home. I can tell you, I was scared to death of him. You know, he was like a baseball god to me. I actually didn't speak to him until his last year. He came on my podcast and he spoke to me like a, I was a peer, which was ridiculous because he's the greatest ever. He, he was that level of gentleman, uh, even as a, 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 when I was in my early 20s trying to book him for a talk show, and he could not have treated me uh, more kindly. And I was a 23-year-old young man trying to, to ask him to do me a favor. Anyway, the, the all-time great, Vin Scully. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.